Look at this beautiful piece of paper. Isn't it lovely? There's nothing on it. It's all ready for us to paint our picture with words and convince people to support a project. So let's get started by going back to our outline. To our title page, of course, we don't need this anymore because we are now writing the draft. So let's go ahead and create a title page. For this formal longer essay, there will be one full title page. The essay will not begin until the next page. So I need to lower this some. So there it is as a single page. Now I'm going to start my essay. You can see the page break there, and this is where I'm going to set up my essay. I'm going to go ahead and set this up correctly. Right? I use these to make sure that I have everything set up correctly. I'm going to set it up as double spaced. I'm going to set my margins to MLA, which is one inch all around. And I'm ready to go. Put in my title, and it's time to set my fonts to Times New Roman 12 font. So we're all set for the essay. Now let's go back to the outline. As you know, we basically have written the entire essay. So I'm going to be sure that I don't get that A in here or anything else. I'm going to copy this. Let's go back to my rough draft, and there it goes. Okay, and I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to go back and copy all that. Copy. Back over here. Now that I have cut and pasted the information from the outline, into the essay. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, this paragraph is too long. It's good, but it's too long. So I'm trying to find sentences that maybe I can work into other places or that don't need to be there. So I write, I want to create an event that would introduce key supporters to the project seeking funding to help Paul's efforts and create awareness to Galway County, Ireland. Okay, so the, then I go on, I decide, got to keep it in the present tense, to host an Irish County Fair complete with jousting contest food fund, much less our backdrop of my fundraising efforts. Okay, so this sentence, the one thing in this sentence that needs to be there is Galway County, Ireland. So I can cut that from there. And I can add it up here. And then what was the rest of that? Oh, to create it. Okay. Okay, let's do it this. I knew I wanted to. Create an event that would introduce key supporters to the project. <clears throat> Let's just leave it at that. Because we're going to talk about the funding later on in this same paragraph. So that means this can go. There's my thesis sentence. And that's the reason that we wanted to underline that thesis sentence. So we can always keep track of that as we go through the process. And that's our thesis statement. Now I need to set the stage and let's take a look at that. I'll be right back. Here's what I'm going to do to make this paragraph shorter. Each sentence is important. Now shows where we are. I decide to host a county fair. We now know what's going to be happening in the uh, essay, which reminds me, by the way, these images I decided to make all the images the same and so I click format on that and then 
all the images are going to be the same. So it's going to make it real easy to just fly through here every time I put in an image. Okay, so, but I digress. All right, so every sentence means something. Now we indicate who we've invited, legendary band U2, Spanish architect, architect and philosopher, and 19th century Irish poet and, rest and restoration advocate William Butler Yeats. Okay, that's the main meat and potatoes of our introduction. What we're going to be doing, where we are, and who's coming. So I'm going to take this next section that sets the stage and I'm going to make it a new paragraph. And that's going to further explain the introduction. Guests from neighboring villages, dignitaries, military leaders, philanthropists, blah, blah, blah. Drawn by you. Oh, what a sight to behold. The sound of an enormous horn echoes through the metal land as our announcer in full Irish contact costume plays the door. I can't believe the fe this day has finally come, arrived. Bit smaller. I am wearing a traditional Irish party dress with ribbons. Trans, trans, and can, uh, oop, I gotta be sure and check that. I greet the guests and invite them to enjoy a glass of Bimish, a jigger of Tullamore Dew, ice cold orchard thieves, cut cider, or non alcoholic shamrock slush from the cart brought by the volunteers. Let the festivities begin. Okay, so now we have two paragraphs. The first is the introduction. This is a classic introduction. Where are we? What are we going to do? Who's there? Done. Then we're going to change this to a paragraph so that we show more about what we're going to be doing. Right? So now we're already through with the first part of our essay. Isn't it beautiful? All that work creating the outline has resulted in this. What I want to do is I want to highlight this. I'm going to do this all along the way. Highlight this and I'm going to make sure that all of this is Times New Roman and that all of it is in 12 font. I'm going to show you something real quick before we go back to the outline. This image has done everything it can to slip out from where I have it placed. Once I get it placed where I want it, that's why I save it into a PDF so that this very thing doesn't happen. Now let's go back to the outline. Now remember, we move on to the cocktails. We're going to follow the same exact procedure. We're going to copy the content into the essay making sure, and you saw where we had one word slip in there, we want to make sure that we don't have any of the outlining in there. So let's go on, I'll, I'll go over to the new essay. At this stage of the game, so I don't get confused, I go to the file where I have all of my information. There's my outlines. There's the prompt that I can go through and make sure that I've completed everything I was expected to complete. Uh, those are my study pages where I've added my notes and things like that that I may or may not use, and this is my works cited. So I'm going to go ahead and add this rough draft here right now just in case. I don't want to lose it. Okay, this is all the information from the outline regarding the introduction of the people who are on my side. Okay, so I need to go through here and edit and then put it into double space and see what we think. We know first we're going to format this picture. We're going to make the picture look like all the other pictures. Yes, I think that looks nice. And let's go ahead and do that one while we're at the pictures. Get that done. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to edit this material and I'll be right back and go over with you what I've done. Okay, so this is that new section that we just included. And it was a jumble of words, as you know. So first thing I did is make it double space, made it Times New Roman 12. And I'm going to break this up because otherwise I'm going to have a very long paragraph. All right, so this section is about what we do with the children. We're going to send the children off 
to play while the adults uh, discuss the important information about this castle project. So I'm going to make the split, this paragraph, everything in this paragraph needs to be doing, having something to do with the children of Galway County being escorted. How are they escorted? By volunteers. Where are they going? They are going to go to an activity tent area. What will they be doing? Maypole decorating duck duck goose. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Meanwhile, all adults collect in the transition tra presentation tent where I have tables with Irish linen, a presentation screen above a lovely stage area. That's it. That's the end of that paragraph. I want to make sure you see that because paragraphs tend to be a problem for folks. This became its own paragraph because we indicated that everything in this paragraph had something to do with the children. We're going to, what are we going to do with them? We're going to take them to a presentation area. Who's going to take them? The volunteers. What are they going to do when they get there? Maypole dancing and this stuff. Now we need a transition statement that indicates what's going to be coming next. Meanwhile, all the adults collect in the large presentation tent. Do you see that? That means that the next paragraph will have everything to do with what is happening in the presentation tent. That's how I'm going to keep this from being a, a paragraph that is too long. You see that? I know you do because you're brilliant. Let's move on. Okay, so all of this next section needed to, this is our cocktail hour, needed to be divided up into two paragraphs. This paragraph I've indicated from the topic sentence is going to introduce, I mean, it's going to set the stage for what we are going to do. I give a general welcome I overview what it is that we are here to accomplish and I get ready for the to introduce the two esteemed guests. As it turns out, those guests are going to need paragraphs, so otherwise it's going to be this, this long drawn out paragraph. All right, so I take that section. Let's remember where that section came from. Remember in our outline, it was this section. And as it turns out, this section is going to be a paragraph of its own, including this image. Now let's go back to our rough draft. I just didn't want us to get lost. Now I formatted the picture the same way we forwarded uh, all the other pictures. It's a little small. I may change that one in the final draft, but for now I'm going to leave it. Okay, so this is Bono. He comes up to the stage. He has his thoughts that he says. Remember that I have cited where this came from, because I wouldn't know that he was knighted by Elizabeth II. I need to have a citation that shows that. Yes, the man and I met and decided to offer a third. That I'm making up. That's what I'm going to hope that they would do. Part of, so the thing about this essay is that part of it's fictional and part of it's true, and that is that it's likely that these people would support this cause, based on the facts that I've concluded, that I've uh, gathered. Okay, now the next one, who are we introducing? That's right, William Butler Yates. He steps on the player front, he tears it up. This, my friends, is a world of hope. Yates proclaims, finding back the tears. I bought this coffee for my life from yours. He goes on to explain that his love for Ireland and the worthy cause of Paul Roberts have inspired him to write another set of poems and donate the money to the Corfin Castle. Thrilled that two of my invited guests are already dedicated to the fundraiser, I worry about how the final two guests will respond to this effort. I want to pause here for just one second about this qualitative analysis. I'm outside the margin right here, am I not? If I scroll this over, that leaves one word down here. That's not going to work. So I need to make sure that I have this done in such a way that more words are included to complete the paragraph. 
So I can play around with this and see where does it look best. Oh, I like it there, don't you? Look, it looks nice there. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Oh, I like it there. I like it there. All right? That's what I mean by playing around with the images. So now this next section where we introduce the two uh, people that are going to be on our side is complete. We have a little introduction where we set up the stage for the hors d'oeuvres and the drinks and so forth. And I see a hole. Do you? In setting up the scene for the dinner party, and this is a dinner party, I don't have any of this stuff here. So I'm going to go out and find an image. I'll be right back. Well, I could have flown to Dallas in the time it took me to find this picture. But prior to this, I haven't shown any people other than the jousters and some people there. That's good. But I haven't shown anything inside this presentation tent that I keep referring to. So I googled people in presentation tents, and this came up. So I saved it, and I've already uh, changed it so that the, the uh, beveled edges are rounded. <clears throat> now, where should we put that in this paragraph? I want you to help me. To move it around like this. Let's get it ready so it can be moved. The one above it is the jousting, and that's on the right. Now let's see where this looks. Okay, so this shows people mingling. I think that's good. All right, and that completes that paragraph. Now, we move on to you 2 I'm going to fix this image right now. It's just going to make me nuts. It's way too dark. You can't, the reader can't see what this is. It's not a good image. I'm going to go find a better one. I'll be right back. Well, that took two seconds. So I think that's a better picture. It's lighter, and I have that in the middle. Now we come down to Yates, and we still got him, which means it's a little bit. There, that's, that's better, but that means up here. Yeah, you're, you're still okay. Unless we want to scoot these guys over here, just to give variety. Okay. Middle. Good, good, good. Okay, so far so good. Now we're ready for the next section. Let's go back to the outline. Remember, this is the section where we're going to introduce the two people who we need to convince that the project is worthy. So let's move this from here and move it over into the rough draft. Now I popped it into the rough draft and now all I have to do is spend a little bit of time getting it organized because we can see things are all over the place. So let me adjust this a little bit. I'll be right back. My transition showed that I was going to be moving on to convincing the skeptical guests. This first little section, I'm going to set the stage in a shorter paragraph and instead of putting people here I'm going to return my focus to the purpose of the essay and that is to convince people to support this little castle. So I say that I'm, pre I'm going to I prepare the projector while volunteers arrange trays of assorted ice cheese and water crackers cold and warm beverages are offered as the guests return to the presentation tent for the introduction of our final two guests who are skeptical about the project. Right, so that's a complete paragraph. This tells the reader what I need to do, what's going to happen, and now what's going to happen next. So, and we've got, oops, we've got to fix this little picture. So I'm going to go up here and format the picture. Got a little box. Make sure it looks like all the rest. Okay. All right. Now let's get this second paragraph taken care of. 
And this is going to be by itself because we're going to introduce uh, this architect. So that comes out. It comes up. We know this is going to be one paragraph. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's make it double spaced before we do anything else. Okay. We've got some gaps here. Okay, we need to start a new paragraph. I first introduced you to something. Paul is polite, but makes it clear that the condition of Corfin concerns him. He had, and we can see that this is going to concern him because we already showed this picture right up above of folks going on a tour of that particular castle. Built on it, and there's one of my problems. My problems are twofold. Okay. First, okay, he's still talking, so I need to make sure I put that in quotes. First, the possible use of the kind of and second, okay, so that came from there. But it, okay, either we don't. Let's take the quotes out there because he's still talking. That came, I need to show where that came from. Actually, let's do this. Let's show this after he's through talking. Let's cut it there. And I'll show it after he finishes talking because he's still talking. Secondly, the question of the science comes to play the condition of the further questions are special against the environment. Okay, this is where we're going to put that citation so that the reader can see that we got this information from Stanford, from his uh, talks that he did at Stanford. I'm going to fix this image, format it, go back up here, click on our meddling tool, there. Did this, did this come from his Stanford thing? I'm going to check out this citation because that doesn't look right to me. Well, that part's correct, but the picture of our architect is in the wrong place. So let me move him down here. He goes down here because that's this guy. Now, what did we use for Saul? Did we use the castle for Saul? Right. Okay, let's move the castle here. Because he's talking about the condition of the castle and that the castle is in a state of disrepair. So let's put the castle right there. Now, that takes us back up to here. And have we put food in here? Have we shown food in a while? We haven't shown food at all. We showed people drinking and stuff, but this... Shoot, we better put some food in here. Okay, so what do we have? Assorted trays of Irish cheese and water crackers. Let me go find a picture. I'll be right back. I love this picture. Uh, this is from an event, and of course I will cite that in my work cited. But I was able to use that snipping tool and cut this little picture. You can see people in motion. You see the appetizers in the front. This is nice. This brings people into the scene. It's not just a picture of a plate of food. And that's nice. Now, we, now we're going to hear from Saul and his concerns about the castle. And, of course, we can see why from this image. Let's make this image a little bit bigger since it's the prominent reason that we're doing this entire essay. Now we move on to uh, Osorio. Same thing. We're going to make this double spaced. Right? And the last picture was over here. Might put him in the middle over here if we like. A little bit bigger. 
So he's consistent. We'll see that in a second. Okay, fine. I don't speak Spanish, so I have a screen translation on projector to speak. Introduce him to And this is the one where we showed that diagram. So he's in two places in this in this paragraph. So let's scoot him up here. Let's find that picture. Here it is. Let's move that in here. We're going to make it smaller because it's not the highlight of the thing. It's just showing uh, respect for him and what he's been able to do. So there. Remember, we have to go back and format the picture. Go back, select the bevel. Now, that looks pretty. I don't know about that, though. It kind of disappears into nothing. We can still have this beveled edge. Let me find a better way to frame this. I have to keep the edges rounded, so I'm going to put it like this. It's not the main focus of the essay. My turning it a little bit crooked, I can sort of make sure that we see that. Okay. Hands, presentation, session, Happy to work on the project. One million dollars. My heart stops. How will I be able to convince all these people to increase their donations? That we have now introduced the four people involved in the project. And before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure that I'm covered on something. First, I'm going to save this. Now, I'm going to go back over to the outline. And I'm going to go up here and get the word count for this. Because I need to make sure that I get that. So I click Review, Word Count. This is my words for the outline. I'm going to go ahead and put the outline number of words right there, just so I have it. Okay, moving on. So far, it's looking pretty good. We have the hostess shown first. This guy who keeps moving around no matter what I do. I can't wait to save this as a PDF so he'll stay put. He moves every time I turn around. The jousting contest. Setting up the presentation tent so they can see where people are meeting and gathering. Uh, you two, Yates, he keeps moving around. Okay, this, I love this. And uh, we have Paul, I mean Saul, that's right. That's what got me messed up. Saul, nice little picture of the work in front of us. Here's the architect. And now we're ready for the next section. Let's go back to the outline. Now the next section had to do with the soup and salad course. And I'm going to uh, justify the safe haven and paste in that stuff from the outline. There's everything from the outline. Now we just need to work this into the essay. First, of course, this is going to go, because that's the outline. This is going to go. Now this is going to be a paragraph. Before we do anything else, let's just go on through here and double space it so that we have it in the proper format while we're working on it. It helps to see how far we've come and so forth. All right. Now, here I am. This go somewhere else. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the first part of the salad course. Fix this image. There we go. Looks nice. I like that little edge. Okay, so they're touring the grounds. Expert clogging. After a short time, the children will sit in with the dancers and visit enjoying fruit and vegetables while the adults return to the presentation tent. As I return to the tent, I see children gleefully dancing and frolicking around the stage area, chaperoned by the volunteers. Okay, now we've got the children doing what the children are doing, and the adults are coming back to the, to the tent. So let's start the new paragraph where the adults are coming back to the tent. Because, let's see. 
Families are outside. They're enjoying the dance. After a short time, children sit with the dancers while the adults return to the presentation tent. So we already know that they're going back. So we can start a new paragraph here. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Looks good, but let's put it somewhere else. Okay, now we create the next paragraph. And the topic of this paragraph is setting up for the presentation about the patients. So I have a picture of what I'm serving them. So we have a little food in there. And now we're ready for the next paragraph. Remember that paragraph is the projecting of Paul Roberts on the screen and discussing the disease. So let me get that place in position. I'll be right back. Okay, now while I start this next paragraph, I want to show you about moving these images around. I'm going up here to Format, Position, and I can click it anywhere. It's going to give me the ability to move it around once I do that. Now I can find it and I can move it wherever I want it to be. So in case you're having trouble moving images around, that's the trick, is position. Okay, remember we started this section with the transition. How am I going to convince these people? Over soup and salad. The guests take a break and walk around the grounds. Remember we're using this grounds picture for that. Anytime I make changes, these images move all over the place. That's going to stop as soon as I make it into a PDF. Uh, now we started the next paragraph, which has to do with uh, the adults coming back to the tent and what they're going to be eating at this dinner party. Remembering we are at a dinner party. I be begin by projecting, by projecting the image of Paul Roberts on the screen, reminding the guests, because I'm discouraging disease. Oops. This all came from the Mayo Clinic. Remember, I have to, when I give information like this, I need to show a citation so that the reader can see where that information came from. Good. Good. Done. Done. Introduced him, which is what I said I was going to do, and have him talk just a minute about the uh, disease. Right? That paragraph is complete. Next paragraph. This is where the dissenters are going to come in and they're going to want to know, yeah, but there's problems here. So this is where our opposition comes in. We have to have oppositions. Otherwise, we just don't even have any kind of narrative. So once the castle is preserved, we may have Paul hopes that families will be They can catch on. He's the one that we need to convince. Saul. And he asks the question, why Corfin though? Wouldn't these patients be better served in sanitariums? I, uh, we're in present tense. A question is on. Okay. So, this is, this paragraph contains the first point of opposition which is presented by Saul and that is a paragraph by itself where both Saul and Yates agree that this is a problem now comes the answer to their question and that's a new paragraph that way we don't have a big clunky break and a long paragraph that goes on for three days all right, so I pause for a moment and then speak carefully. On August 28th, American Patriot John McCain ceased all treatment from the actress. Intense therapy, and he was tired. Knowing that the end was near, wouldn't it have been wonderful if McCain continued? I encourage him to, and remember, we talked about this when we did the outline. And, okay, now. We've got them in kind of a down moment as we explained that. So, I pause. Okay. 
Let's let that be all one paragraph. And I'll tell you why. I'm using an example that uh, is going to support my cause, and that is John McCain. For my transition to the next section, I'm going to bring the moment back up again. And this image and this description of the children coming in through the door, through the presentation tent with all smiles, is going to serve as a transition to the next paragraph. So I'm going to leave that just as it is. All right. Back to the, we're almost through, back to the outline. Now we're at the main course and our final point. So we're going to highlight this just like we've been doing. We're going to go all the way to the end of the essay. Let's just copy this. Let's go back over to our, our, our rough draft, start the new paragraph, paste that in, and now I'm going to wordsmith it. I'll be right back.